Hi guys, it's me Lunar, welcome back to another PUBG update video. The next update for the game is out now on the test server for PC, and I'm going over the new content being added, so you know what to expect when the content drops on the public test server for Xbox and PS4, which is probably in a couple of days. If you find the vid useful, leave a like. The first big addition to the game in the 6.2 update is Arcade Mode and Team Deathmatch. I'm not going to go over in detail all of this because I went over it in yesterday's video so you can check that out if you want to see it, but Team Deathmatch will be available now in the new arcade mode menu. It's probably the biggest addition of this update, but there are other things to go over, starting with grenade changes. To frag grenades, vests now mitigate damage received from frag grenades, but vest durability isn't reduced when taking damage with frags. Frags will deal 20% less damage to prone players, the item weight of frags has increased by 50%, Pulling the pin on a frag is now louder and more audible from further away, so players can recognize the sound of a frag from much further away. Essentially, frags are getting nerfed, but on the other hand, the other throwables will be improved. Smoke grenades decrease diffuse time from 3 seconds to 1 second. It's only a small change, but definitely uh, an improvement to the smoke grenade. To the stun grenades, they've increased indirect hit effect radius to 6.5 meters. It was previously 5.5 meters. Ringing sound now impacts players through walls, added a slight camera shake to players near the explosion, and they've changed up the fuse mechanics. Stuns now explode 0.7 seconds after impact, or after the fuse timer runs out, so you can cook them if you want. Whichever comes first, and fuse time has increased to 5 seconds. To Molotov cocktails, they've increased the speed at which fire spreads by 50%, Fire can now spread slightly further than it could before, and that includes it can spread higher as well. Change the way fire spreads around objects, making it spread around trees, for example, much easier. So before, if you threw fire, then players could hide behind objects, even small objects. But if you throw them at a player who's hiding behind a tree or a rock, then previously they could be spared by the fire not spreading around it. But in this update, they've tried to make the fire spread around objects all the way, so you can hit players from behind objects. They've reintroduced direct damage while standing in fire, in addition to existing damage over time. Plus, frag and stun grenade visual effects have been updated alongside a more realistic frag grenade sound. So this update will make some big changes to throwables in the game. Next, a change to right peeking and leaning. Based on player feedback, the devs have attempted to make more of the player model visible when peeking to the right to make it more in line with peeking left. Players viewing their opponent from the right side of the object will now have more of their body exposed. Players' heads will lean slightly more towards the scope when adds, so that character's head is more exposed. And they've made adjustments to some weapons to have characters' bodies be more exposed when peering to the right of objects. These changes will hopefully make things a bit more even when you peek right to be the same as when you peek or lean left. Next, several changes to Karakin, and these are to improve and balance the map. The G36C and the MP5K have been added to Karakin. The spawn rate of first aid kits and boost items has been increased, while the spawn rate of bandages has been decreased. The spawn rate of DMRs, sniper rifles and the Win-94 on Kraken has been decreased. They've increased the care package airplane speed to move faster across the island, and hopefully these changes will improve Kraken, and all of these changes were based on player feedback, so continue to give your feedback and they could make more changes to the map. Next, they've adjusted the blue zone. The distortion effect has been removed and you can now see what it looks like in this image. They've altered the effect where the blue zone meets the ground to more clearly identify the blue zone edge. They've lowered the top wall of the blue zone and they've updated the visual shaders. Effects will become more intense as phases progress and they've also changed the sound for entering and exiting the blue zone while at the same time they've added a low volume humming sound which can be heard when you're beside the blue zone within 10 to 15 meters. A small blood effects visibility improvement, they've increased blood colour saturation over distance for better visibility, and they've added distance scaling to blood effects. Finally, parachute follow feature. This is a cool new addition that allows squads or duos to stick together when they drop out of the plane. So during the pre-match countdown, follow user interface will be shown at the bottom left of the screen. Open the map to select a teammate to follow, and you can still select a teammate to follow up until exiting the plane. After selecting a teammate to follow, you can cancel on the map screen if you want, or while you're actively following a player, and if you are obstructed by terrain or objects, your follow will be cancelled. 
but if you choose to follow a player when you parachute, you will all stick together. So guys, so those are all of the new content additions and content changes. Quite a lot of stuff to test out when the test server drops. We don't have official dates for console yet, but I'm sure it won't be too long. I think last month it was three days between PC and console test servers. When the patch notes drop for the console, I will go over them in more detail. To be honest, there's not a lot of changes for the actual patch notes this time around, I don't think. Mostly bug fixes, but when we get them, I will go over them. Until then, let me know what you think of the February update so far in the comments below. Like and subscribe for the latest news and updates for PUBG, Modern Warfare and more. Have an awesome day, and I will see you all in the next one.